Hello guys, welcome to Tech Twitter. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can publish a website to our Azure account. So uh, for that, first of all, uh, make sure that uh, you have your Azure subscriptions. And uh, right now I have my free subscription for one month. So uh, first of all, uh, log into your Azure account. Click on sign in. So you can see that uh, I am uh, right now logged into my uh, Microsoft Azure account. So uh, here uh, you can see that uh, there is no resources added right now. So first of all, uh, go to uh, all resources. Since there is no resource, so you can click on create resources. As we will uh, deploy a demo website uh, here from Visual Studio, so uh, you can select the option Pepe. Okay, uh, the first option here on the top, you can see uh, it is basically asking the app name, so you can specify any name here. Right now, I'm So you can see that at the end the domain name is .azurewebsite.net it is uh, due to the fact that uh, I have my free subscription as uh, you will uh, uh, go with your uh, paid subscription then you can change the domain name here and the subscription will be free trial and uh, the resource groups uh, now what is resource groups uh, as it is saying that uh, resource groups is a collection of resources that share the same lifecycle permission and policies so, uh, using one resource group, you can post a multiple web app. Okay. So, here I will create a new resource group here. Uh, the third option is app service plan so for the free subscription it is already selected here then we will click, click on create now uh, the process of uh, creating a new ballot is going on right now and as you can see that the uh, deployment in progress it so uh, we can check that on our dashboard uh, here on the all sources so you can see that uh, a new web app uh, that is tech little web app is needed here so if we click on this okay so it's uh, giving all the detail that is the source group and uh, subscription that is free trial version here and this is the url where we can access our uh, web app so if we click on this then you can see that uh, uh, your web app is uh, right now configured in azure but still there is a uh, 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 still there is uh, deployment is required to push your website uh, on your azure so uh, let's uh, move to the Visual Studio right now and uh, here I have created a simple uh, MVC.NET uh, applications so uh, I will try to publish this website to my uh, new web app which I have created in Azure so for that uh, right click here on the top Select the option publish 
okay so uh, the first option is profile as uh, i will be deploying to the microsoft azure web app so select the first option here okay as you can see that uh, i have already configured my azure account within my visual studio so you can uh, also configure your azure account here for that i have created a separate video so you can refer to that so uh, as you can see that uh, i have logged in to my azure account so the first option is that uh, you can use the ex existing web apps so just click on drop down and here you can see that uh, it is showing the web app which we have created in azure so select this one and then click on ok button Okay, what it has done, it has downloaded all the web publishing profile from there. So just uh, click on validate connection. Connection is good. Uh, so then click on next button. Here you can select it is in release mode or it should be in debug so I'm selecting release mode here. Then click on next and then click on publish. In output window you can see that uh, the publish process is going on here so uh, your site would be now deployed to your Azure account. So you here in this line you can see that it is seeing the start web deploy. Uh, publish the application package to this particular uh, location. So let's wait for the deploy process. It will take some time. Yes, you can see at the end that uh, web app was published successfully to this site and it will automatically open the URL in the browser. So here you can see that uh, the browser uh, in the browser you can see that uh, your site has been published to your Azure account. So guys, using all these steps, you can publish a website directly from your local machine using Visual Studio to your Azure account. Thanks for watching this video.